Uh, hello everyone. Uh, hello everyone. So today I'm um, live commentating um, TSDL Top 64 between um, Tomato and Marcus. So look like both the player are setting. Okay, so on one side we have Tomato, who is a quite strong player. Have been here since uh, since season one, uh, very seasonal veteran. And on the other side we have Marcus. I think he is uh, quite new to Epic, but already got top sixty four into top sixty four in his first season. So pretty nice. Yeah, m probably the first season where he uh, actually PvP, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for both the players to set up. Okay, so they have start started. Let's go. Okay, so from tomato side, he run a pretty standard one tank, two healers box. Uh, no really niche or unique hero. On the other side, Marcus run. I think this is a very heavy AoE bar, but he banned first ban um, Zerida too, so kind of surprising because with this bot you might want to go up first ban Rosen seal, but there's still a decent amount of single target, so maybe that was his game plan there. So the the light bringer ban makes sense. Um, CC is also a pseudo tank, so he's okay. But from Tomato perspective, he can pick up another tank in Polio to no try to nullify this threat of the Wetham trying to snipe a unit. But we'll see. Uh, Rosen Seal is also decently strong against Wetham. She can prevent his debuff from ever going live. Plus, um, if it is heal. The heal uh, after damage also prevent him from using the jump. Okay, so he go for Gintoki. Pretty uh, Q 
Gintoki and he banned Gintoki and um, Lovina. So the Lovina ban is kind of surprising. Um, I think from his perspective, he might think that this is a cavalry and he doesn't want to uh, have to use uh, weaker troops on, on Gintoki instead of just go for Sansi. Also like, um, Lovina also have range support and pretty decent um, single target damage. Okay, this is, these two are really good then. Um, Lost Ham is obviously, obviously very amazing on this map and um, like McLean also stop a lot of these heroes except for the for, for the flyers. Let's see what he pick up. Okay, burn. So um, there's a lot of empire unit left in the box. So burn is okay. Like one, two, three, four. I think she. I think she's she's empire, right? Yeah, she's empire. Five, six, seven. So seven empire unit. He might have to pick something that can kill Gin um, soon because I think Tomato can actually outright ban like two units that can threaten Gin. Okay, so um, Helena is okay. Ares? I'm not sure about Ares. I probably ban something like um, IBC since this one of, or, or Clotaire. Clotaire or IBC are like two of the um, heroes on this box that can threaten Gin, but he go for the Matthew instead, which is surprising. I don't think Matthew have a lot of synergy with either like the first two picks or any of the remaining pick. There's no protagonist except for Wetham who doesn't need the faction buff, and his single target uh, damage is not really the best. On the other hand, uh, Lucretia is a really powerful pick here because um, Burn. Uh, like burn is might obviously go for the guard so by picking Lucretia like Tomato is threatening Marcus to either pick up a magic guard like either Alpha or Juggler or uh, like the Rosen, uh, the Lucretia can just um, snipe one by one and then you have Rosen who can provide the faction buff for Lucretia yeah so now he got also got the pseudo tank the polio this is a very powerful composition. Yeah, so the IBC is obviously banned because there's a lot of um, five move, three or five, three to five moves heroes left in the box. Plus, she is a uh, magic uh, damage, so she's one of the few units who can like actually threaten Kintoki after his transform. But he go for the act again as P two, and the Florentia get the faction buff. <laughs> from Bernhardt so it's still a decent decently strong combo if you can set up right on on the other side he banned um yeah the, these two are pretty obvious plan the IBC also is um uh, can speed up like either Gin or Lucretia or like Polio while the Matthew provide faction buff for Gintoki and can threaten a, a team without Rosen very easily on this map so you go for juggler instead so like um obviously out of like juggler and vincent juggler is probably gonna be a, a better choice uh i don't think you can boot force to rosen with this composition there's not enough hard hitting aoe um well i mean vincent can actually threaten rosen because of his uh dispel so if you got like lucky dispel, you can dispel the heal from Rosen and then you go into Fox to do double AoE and combo with the Matthew and the Florentia. But he go for the safer choice which is um, Juggler. I don't think, I'm not sure if Juggler is, <laughs> I mean like between these, these two picks are not very that strong. So it's basically a, a lesser of the two evil. But we'll see, maybe this is a cavalry Juggler that can actually stop Gin. The D heart is strong. None of these heroes can like you can act obviously do the wet ham go into and kill try to kill like Pulio, but there's a uh, no good follow up when there's um Rosen heal and there's a uh, Gintoki for counter kill. So from band pick alone, like obviously uh, tomato with a very made up meta box uh, get a I think it's a stronger composition like has 
a little bit of everything. It has tank, it has uh, late game carry, it has mage, assassin, and heal. Yeah, this is a cavalry juggler. Usually, when you play um, AOE composition, like cavalry juggler is a better choice than the normal juggler because of the range and also like the class. Like you can actually survive the Gin Toki. But uh, this will die to mage. This will die to Lucretia, especially with his troops. Um, let's check some of the skill selection. Okay, what of Karma is. Um, Probably don't need this. Maybe he wanna put this on Polio for the defense buff. Um, Cause this brings the uh, Imperial Radiance fashion buff for Lucretia already. Uh, again with two single target skill, pretty standard. Um, let's see. Okay, so the Matthew go for double single target. Uh, I'm not sure if the Shadow Raid can do much. Since um, he will get the penalty just like Cherry. Maybe this can snipe the puppet, but I don't think it can kill either um, Lucretia or Gin or, or, or Gintoki. Okay, so um, when I fight uh, when I fight against uh, Rosen Seal as Wetam, usually I don't bring the um, usually I don't bring Shadow Staff because like this team will never get debuffed by his talent. Pretty much, and even if you go in with the sword and try to do the teleport um, into a range of the his sword, um, the heal, the heal, the mass crystal healing will reduce the reduce a lot of the play you can do because like you can't teleport to like a full health unit. So usually a better choice is to just bring the passive like crush for better damage or um, the wind ride. I think. Yeah, yeah, the passive wind ride that gives uh, damage reduction. Okay, so so both Juggler and Bernhard go for uh, guard skill. Oh, huh. I don't think you need guard skill on Burn. But um, Sword Dance or I think, um, what's his name, um, the stun skill are both like not very good against uh, these units, so makes sense, I guess. Okay, so we put the buff on Lucretia. I probably put the buff on, uh, on her for the defense and uh, magic defense uh, buff. Okay, so Tomato would play very safe first turn because of the threat of the Ak again from uh, Florentia. Also, he knows that like um, if he just stay in this formation, uh, this team cannot break this. You need you need the Juggler to lock down the. Oh, that's a very nasty Tanyo. It's on the right unit too. So like you want the Juggler to lock down the Polio, but the Polio can actually go out with the Savage Trample. So, or like the, the Lucretia could just outright kill the, the juggler. So you have to combo it with uh, maybe Wetam or, or Matt to try to get a snipe skill. But it's uh, very execution heavy. And someone like uh, Experience, like Tomato, like will see the threat. Okay, yeah, so he wanted to cast the Mass Crystal Healing first turn, that's why he used the, the buff on Lucretia. So she will always get the buff like on the start of the second turn, or like even if uh, Marcus tried to go in on the first turn. Very safe play. I guess like with Lance Phalanx giving the defense buff, um, Polio doesn't really need um, the pseudo faction buff from d -Hard. But this d -Hard is... A massive problem right now because he can basically reach everyone and I think he can kill like he can kill Matthew or Bernhardt 
because I don't think this Bernhardt is that tanky. It's like 758. Okay, he actually again mad to me. Uh -huh. So maybe go for a snipe, yeah, with Shadow Raid. But I'm, I'm not sure if we can kill this e -heart. Yeah, not even close. d when he is next to female allies is very tanky and the shadow raid has a melee penalty so the so the so the damage is not really great that's why you don't really see this skill or, or Matthew like ever and unless you are like assassin class with assassin troops like like cherry or you can be like cherry and bring like goblin if you want to use this skill So that's the thing like um, if you want to play a uh, heavy AoE bot like Marcus like you have to ban Rosen because not only she neutralize a lot of threat it just put unnecessary like bad big pressure on you because like now you have to go like through hoops to try to get through like with like subpar um, single target unit yeah that's there's no way Juggler can survive that. But I'm surprised he go for Juggler. Okay, so that's a very, very quick conceit from Marcus. Uh It's unfortunate, but I think I think you have to ban Rosen. Um Maybe maybe this second game will be different when Marcus get um player can choose to be P1 with this box. And this box would work a lot better as P1. So they roll the same map. Um, this map is really good for AoE because it's small, there's a choke point, and there's a lot of uh, flyer like Ares, Vincent, Wetham, and Matthew is obviously very good on here. Clotair is good on here because they kind of have to funnel into the choke point if they want to move forward. So if you, you just ban Rosen. Like there's there's no two way about it. Like with this box, um, if you have like Bob uh, units that like good at both single target or and AOE, then it might make sense. But most of these units are very specialized. Yeah, but like if you bring. You bring if you I see some if you see someone bring the snipe skill like you're obviously gonna hide the puppet. <laughs> uh, also, you like P one. There's like very, uh, you know, I mean, there's an act again, but like you you have to be like very confident to put the puppet into the snipe range of Matthew. And even then, if even if Matthew got the skill, I don't think in a in the five v four like that team would lose. Uh, tomato team would lose. So as a uh, tomato swap in Liana and Kayura, Kayura is obviously good against AoE. Liana is also good against AoE and also good as P2. Very obvious swap. Okay, so now he banned Rosen, but Tomato can just pick up like either of these heroes. Obviously, they're not as good as Rosen, but they they still very effective against um, AoE. This is why in um, in the best of three. Um, format, I think like poor AOE rush is uh, not that versatile. Like you, you can get like very easy pick apart. So is they are good for like surprise? Like you can go like supply uh, full box swap into like AOE and just completely catch someone off guard. Like after a different box on, on game one or like different box on uh, last match. But if you just like roll with like AOE box like every game, like it's it's really easy to counter. I mean, like, even if he know the Rosen, uh, he doesn't know the Rosen span. Like, it's it's obvious. Like, he can just swap these in, like, because like they trade, like, they just trade their skill, like one skill with like the entire skill set of someone, like, um, Vincent, for example, or or Clotier. <laughs> okay, so he banned the two tanks. Banned the Rosen, banned the two tanks, and now he he probably had to pick like some. Uh, he probably planning to pick something hybrid. 
uh, between single target and uh, AoE and Aeris exactly that. Uh, very good on this map as well. Still give away either the gain of the Zerida 2 though. Or even like Lost Ham. But at least these two picks are good against McLean so um, he is not in a rush to ban McLean just yet. Elena and Lovina like Tomato uh, definitely rate um, Lovina very highly. He hits very hard, but um, he's also usually on a tamer. Like you have to go all in with him on uh, first three turn, otherwise he just uh, completely nullify for a while. Yeah, the the Gintoki is obvious. Um, it's definitely a better pick when you in a more defensive position than the Zarya two. Okay, I kind of want to see him go for Carolyn. Carolyn the cavalry and hit very hard if you ban the heal. And plus he he has the initiation here. Like one of these three, probably. Okay, the Kyura ban is uh, fine. Uh, Zerida ban, I don't think he... Um, I mean, Zerida is kind of annoying, but I think I think McLean is uh, more annoying for the remaining hero. Like, maybe he, he does, doesn't ban McLean, he picks Vincent instead, and uh, like, it will force Tomato to pick someone else other than McLean, because like, three heroes already ignore McLean. Well, I think, I mean, like, Caroline can um, clear terrain, but... Her rain will still be limited by McLean. Like you, she have to go in and use her three C to clear terrain. Let's see. So, Lost Ham is still on the table. Um, Red Ham is still on the table. Uh, those are both. These are both really good against uh, IOE team. Okay, so he banned the speed buff and the cloak tear, the initiation. There's like three tanks left, so maybe he's not tempted to pick Wetham just yet. Oh, okay, he still go for the for the Wetham. Okay. I mean, from Max's point of view, like um, you can pick up a tank to prevent the the Wetham to try to go for us um a trade. Or you could just YOLO and pick Vincent. <laughs> okay, still no respect for the McLean. Uh, yeah, Alpha is fine. Alpha is a tank. This is um, Lancer Alpha though. So, uh, gonna completely destroy my game. Uh, doesn't need a skill. Doesn't need, even need skill. But, if, like her role just... She just needs to be a pivot for these... These heroes to get close, so... As long as she can do that, she's fine. And uh, her AoE still hurt a lot. I guess it's better than um, Juggler or, or Brunhan as a tank because she has two life. Lucretia, yeah. Thing is, I think I think Alpha Hair Guard is Omni Guard, so um, is Lucretia can't really snipe. Still has to uh, attack into Alpha, but um, Ice Skin um, Free Spell will kill Double Lancer. I don't think he'll go uh, Lancer again in Tokyo though. But uh... <laughs> pretty hard. Hmm. I guess D Hard can kill um, Vincent or stun him. If he's stunned, I don't think the talent activate. But uh, D Heart is just good value in general. Plus, he has sustain. Uh, I mean, I think either IBC or D Heart is fine too, but um, IBC needs like. IBC with Goddess tier, still pretty good. Because um, the Vincent can um, debuff and the, the, the Red Ham can debuff.
Yeah, Vincent is a really good pick there. This is a very strong um, AoE combo. We'll see. We'll see if uh, the Liana can actually um, prevent. Like, like one of the play you could do is like put her three C on someone who can act again and uh, like do double, triple heal. But like, if the AOE is too much, like five or six AOE in a row, then then she might not be able to kill up again. Especially like, these are very high damage AOE. Um, the Vincent can do double AOE. Caroline AOE is very powerful, especially again, um, infantry and Aris. Aris just need crit. Just need to crit. So it's it's down to um, execution. The problem is, if you cannot get rid of this Gin Toki, he will solo the entire team. So you have to get rid of the Gin Toki somehow with your um, AOE barrage, or he just heal continuously and he kill everyone. Even Caroline. Okay, so he bring a uh, yeah, that's very smart. He bring a single target on Caroline. So he, he gave himself like at least an option to deal with the Gin Toki. Ashlas though. Ashlas on wet hand. Yeah, I, I don't think you want to bring state guard <laughs> again this again this and this. I'll bring something like an infantry troops. Or maybe he just want her his alpha to die so that he can power up his AoE. <laughs> we'll see. I kind of like his team a lot better than uh, lead this game. Uh, both team has very obvious win con, so is a uh, it's probably gonna be a much better game than uh, than last game. Hopefully. Hmm. I think. Okay, so I'm not sure why Tomato bring um, Scooter Dash. Maybe try to... I don't know, maybe try to uh, disable the weapon of someone like Caroline. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think she can reach again right now. But uh, he can block. The problem is like Caroline can can AOE next turn with, with um, cavalry do. Problem with this team is like there's no faction buff, <laughs> zero attack buff. So From Tomato's perspective, like he might want to set up for a turn one act again, maybe on someone like Gihard or, or yeah, probably Gihard better because she is guarding. But the problem with that kind of, that play is that you you won't have the time to set up for this skill. So if Marcus like can survive the Gihard or at least like minimize the problem. Uh, minimize the problem that he caused then um, he can go in with the AoE but it, but a D heart kill someone and stun someone it probably would be my the best play for turn one I think I'll, I'll go for it yeah this is just a like a um, 1300 attack uh, Caroline well, obviously her talent will give her like 20% attack, but it's still not great, especially when you want to try to kill like very bulky target like Gin and Wet Ham. You definitely want to keep the move, the Wet Ham or Aerith move last, 
Okay, <laughs> just as I said, it's easy move when I'm already um, You want to move this later because you want to keep tomato range in check. Especially like turn one these. Uh, Vincent is not doing anything right now. Also, like if if tomato come in, you need something that can counter kill. Otherwise, you just like give away like free kill. So because the um, because the the West Ham already moved like these two units like have completely freedom to just go in like like he can go and set up or like on top of here try to kill Caroline or go down try to kill um, Red Ham and this Red Ham will be like like you just use D Heart to kill you move D Heart first you act again D Heart D Heart kill and then um, Red Ham kill and then you get two kill and one stun and it's basically impossible to come back from that because like none of your units can deal with Kintoki anymore So that's why it's important to keep uh, someone like the a strong map control unit like uh, move up just to get have some kind of counterplay against that kind of setup. Huh. This is fine because like he can just use like Red Hand to go in next turn even if he set up for Tiha. He wants to get um to get Magus to move all of his unit before he act against Tiha, which is fine I guess. You can just kill someone and then stun the, the wet hand that prevent the powder kill. Yeah, he's going for it. Especially after the air is already moved. Vincent cannot reach. Even if he reach, I don't think it, it matters. Surprise! Tomato doesn't bring mass attack on, on Lucretia though. I guess he was planning to use this on her and use uh, all the old creation on on Turkey. Yeah, he's going for it. <laughs> also, like you get a kill, which is, is pretty nice because the Wet Ham will disable the revive on uh, Vincent. Maybe Tomato is still debating. I think going in is the best move though. One, two. Four, five, one, two. Yeah, can kill Caroline. Kill Caroline, try to stun. Uh, like, I need, uh, any of these two is good. Oh, the Wind Ball. Oh, still kill. Yeah, Caroline is not that tanky, I guess. <laughs> Even on, on 3 with him more. Okay, so debuff go on. Okay, this is this disable her revive as well. So debuff go on these two. Like, Red Ham can just come in and kill Ares. Because the Alpha out will lose to King Toki anyway. Just kill Ares, and that's basically game over, I think. There's no way you can uh, UE combo when the Vincent is stunned. Yeah, I'm not sure why Tomato have to move the Wet Ham back like this. I don't think there was anything that threatened Wet Ham. Could just put like him forward to get a better range to go into. It probably won't matter, but uh This is a <laughs> Uh, I guess he just want to prevent the uh, snipe from Wet Ham. I don't. I mean, like, I don't think the Wet Ham was killing this guy with Ashlas in the first place. But probably well, we just want to be safe. Yeah, no, no teleporting. Yeah, that's that's why he stay back. <laughs> oh, we just go for the Vincent or the Alpha. 
Uh, I'll go for the Alpha. Do it. Okay, you killed the wins. It's very bulky weapon. 1000 defense, uh, 14k. Actually, uh, I've seen some weapons with like over 15k, so. I guess Tomato still have to work on his engine. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter because the Gintoki can just come in and like none of these can do anything to Gintoki at all. They just kill themselves if they attack Gintoki and they have the AoE will not hurt like she's Lancer. <laughs> and this guy, this guy had like 900 defense without defense buff. Like she can just put like um, the gospel on him. He's basically unkillable. Probably doesn't need that. Also, like Gintoki can just bring like two single target skill this game. I don't think he needs a push. Get a Tendio freeze on this too. Doesn't matter though. Because it cannot swap right now because the Lucretia is in fog. You swap, she dies. This guy. Yeah, you just he just gonna pass. So Vincent doesn't do anything. He's already blocked from hitting these because of the sword. So he like even if he AoE here. Won't do much because this this one is immune to debuff. This guy is like unkillable. Yeah, he can just ignore the Vincent. Kill this. Kill this weekend, I think. These two can kill Wet Up right now because the sword. She can come in. And Ak again is ready. There's uh, not much I can say because uh, the game is basically designed turn 1. That's why you have to respect the, the act again flat. And also like AoE, AoE, AoE box is just um, very tough to pilot in a pass of 3 when, when the enemy know what you're gonna play. They are best when is they are like surprise box. You, you, you bring to surprise someone or you just like completely swap out uh, on game 2 or game 3 or something like that to cheese. That's actually pretty good damage. Even when his... Um... Oh no, yeah, his, his axe just wasn't broken. So you just retreat, <laughs> retreat the wet. <laughs> Just heal this guy back. Yeah. So congratulations to Tomato and um, Marcus. I hope you still uh, participate in next season TSDL. Like, hopefully you get a lot of good uh, experience and uh, enjoy the TSDL. Like, even if you lose, like you can still still stay and watch um, all of our 
latter stage uh, games, they will all be review or live stream. Uh, Yeah, I was hoping like Tomato maybe do the swap for the highlight. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it, guys. I'll see you later. Like, I'll, I think there's like three more match today. I'll try. Um, I'll be streaming the the late the la latest one. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy.